Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt from Mechabyte.com, this time with my review of the HTC Status, also known as HTC Cha Cha. So, pretty much just some basic information. This phone is running Android 2.3.3, which is gingerbread, and it also has HTC's Sense user interface, and this is the newer version. Um, if you are familiar with HTC Sense, uh, you know that um, in this newer version you can actually go ahead and quick launch stuff. So you see, when you actually unlock the phone, um, you'll be given these this row of icons. And these are applications that you can customize on the actual lock screen. And if you want to go ahead and launch one right off, right off, right off the bat, all I have to do is go ahead and drag it in there. And it will automatically load. So a little bit more about this phone. It does have the dedicated Facebook share button down there in the corner. And basically, when you go ahead and set up the phone, you'll be given the opportunity to go ahead and link your Facebook account um, with the Android operating system through HTC. And then whenever you're listening to music, you're browsing the internet, and you have the opportunity to share something, this button will go ahead and glow, letting you know that you can share it. And so then, say, you click it, and you'll have the opportunity to go ahead and customize where it posts on Facebook. You can select certain people. And um, uh, it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you can also do it with the camera app. Go ahead and take a picture with that button, and you can automatically share it to Facebook. So pretty cool thing. Um, it does have the full QWERTY keyboard and uh, this keyboard is really nice, it feels really nice to use, the buttons are spaced just enough so that um, pretty much you'll feel really comfortable in using them and I have big hands, I'm a, I'm a big guy, I'm like 6'3", and <laughs> so that's definitely a, a good thing for me because I know some hardware keyboards they just don't work out really well. This does have some location based uh, hardware as well, it comes with a digital compass, G sensor, and it also has GPS so uh, you won't get lost. <laughs> um, as far as cameras Oops. Um, let's go ahead and launch the camera application and I'll give you a quick look. So right now we're looking at the rear facing camera which is 5 megapixels. It does have an LED flash and this is actually, um, it's on the back, it's the speaker for the phone. So you see it does have some micro, it does have a microphone right there and at the top. And it actually exited out. But um, it also has a front facing camera as well. So that is located right there and you can see me making my video. And uh, just to show you the LED flash, sorry, um, pretty good flash. So that camera definitely didn't end up really well because I have a, a glossy desk and um, it's really dusty back there. So <laughs> I was hoping you guys wouldn't notice. Um, front facing camera is VGA resolution. So not the best, not the best front facing camera, but then again the front facing ones are always a little bit lower end because you don't use them as often. So as far as the phone specs go, this does have an 800 megahertz processor and it has 512 megabytes of RAM so that's definitely um, more than enough to power a phone with phone of this type um, when I first got it I was a little bit worried about the screen size like I thought it'd be too small to interface with but uh, like I said before I have big hands big fingers and I found this phone a breeze to use um, they actually have a, a couple really cool implementations um, that I don't know if other Android phones do this because this is the first Android phone that I've used but say let's go ahead and watch a YouTube video and I'll show you a cool feature um, while while holding it like this it will go ahead and play um, landscape but then turning it sideways you go ahead and get that other interface where there's the video playing you have the option to like dislike and you get even more options as well you can flag it save it to uh, favorites um, share it and copy the URL let's get rid of that and from here you can also view the info some uh, description you can view related videos by swiping and you can also view comments and you can easily uh, respond so I definitely like that, I discovered that by accident actually and it's a pretty cool feature let's go home so uh, some other cool features about HTC Sense is that it's really easy to customize, really user friendly, you see they have the really nice looking applications like the friend stream um, Facebook chat, these all look really nice and you also get their cool little expose um, type feature where if you're on the main home screen, you can either press this home button again, or you can also do this uh, power button down here. In order to go ahead and launch an expose, and you see there's um, views of all my different home screens. So from here, you can quickly tap into one you want without swiping all the way across. So that's a pretty helpful feature. So overall, this is a nice phone. Uh, in the unboxing, I did note the build quality, and I must say again, it's it's very nice. It feels solid, and it's got it's got a curved uh, profile, just to, so it actually fits in your hand a little bit nicer. And uh, when you're talking on the phone, it just feels really nice against your head. 
So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for thanks to HTC for sending this out to me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.